Quiet on set. Camera speeds. Camera speed. Sound speeds. Sound speed. Marker. School spirit. Shot 10. Scene 1. Take 1. Action. Hi, my name is Tristan Tobin and I'm the producer here on set for School Spirit. Today I will be walking you through what the process was and what it was like to make the film. It was definitely an interesting to work on a film like this for the first time. There's definitely a lot more pressure and uh, commitments than the smaller projects we've already done. It was uh, hard to adjust, but overall it was a pretty fun project to work on. First off, we start by reading the chosen script. Once this is once this is done, every department goes back there and marks up the whole script with different colors to indicate props, needed like uh, needed items, other things that are important for production. The mood board helps to show what we want the mood and lighting to look like throughout the movie. Production design also addresses the crew by showing the color palette we want to use and the wardrobe shows what we want the general clothing to look like. But it looks like homely in a nice way. Uh, you could use soft colors to show it's like a safe place, but like mute them still so they're a little faded. Slowly swap them to darker and darker yellow ties. Have them wear no tie for the seance scene and then have like a black tie at the beginning or the, the graveyard. The next step is a very key one. Score storyboarding. The storyboard artist starts to draw out what each individual scene would look like, helps out to see what like the movie actually was going to look like. This is also a good point to see what scenes might not work out and what scenes will work out. Alright, so what are the three of you working on kind of right uh, now? We're storyboarding right now. It's, uh, um, it's a process, but uh, we got time and we're, but we're working well. You know, it's going to take some time, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At this point, every department and team has started to work in their own area to prepare for the first shoot. We will search by our like meeting the gaffer who is our charge of lighting. All right, so I am the gaffer, the head of lighting department for School Spirit. Um, right now, I'm looking through all the high key, low key, all the best kinds of uh, lighting, tungsten, daylight, to be more noir, vibrant. Wardrobe is also now starting to plan out the clothes that are needed. Alright, so these are character look pages. So for each character, um, they kind of have like a general gist of what they look like. And then these are a more detailed breakdown of like exactly what clothes they're wearing. At the same time, Wardrobe is also figuring out what props there are necessary. Yeah. Oh, but she said the way I understand it is yeah. And we render like the guts or whatever. One of the most important groups at this time, the camera team, also need to start read up on manuals to figure out how the camera works, to have a good idea on how the camera like needs to be when shooting. Alright, so what are you guys currently working on? Right now we're learning the C100 Canon camera, trying to learn how it works before we start filming in a few weeks. First, we have the wavelength and exposure as well as The AD team is also hard at work creating lists of things we need and figuring out schedules. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm Isaiah and this is Akil, and we're the uh, the AD team on this film. So we're uh, we're basically responsible for you know planning everything out, making everything, make sure everything goes smoothly. Uh, we keep the director in check, you know. So we're we're basically the stars of the show. What are you guys working on right now? We're making a list of just kind of things we need for each scene, um, you know, so that we know what we need. Uh, recording at with the producer and the director. You know, talk to art, figure out what we need for like, wardrobe and props and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, exciting stuff. Perfect. Up next is our audio team, who starts to watch and read up on audio and how to properly use the microphones and figure out how actual audio equipment works. All right, Scott, what are you guys working on currently? Right now we're kind of discovering how to use sound in the horror movie. It's a little more difficult than, uh, you know normal movie because sound is yeah. much more affordable but that's one of the only two sentences that you get to experience and you gotta be like fear sound and visuals so it's pretty interesting and then we have to discover how to use the microphone we've got like a fold uh, finding sound like the drive and stuff we have fold sounds so wondering what we can do uh, in the back room whether we can find those on the wondering what we can do on the scene on set 
Now the camera and lighting team come together to experiment with how lighting affects what the actual camera sees. The intensity it has that sort of range to go through anyways. Next up is easily one of the most important elements in pre-production, location scouting. Okay, Josh, what are you currently doing outside? Uh, I am currently location scouting. So what is location scouting? Uh, it is basically looking for different locations around campus and off campus, and it's like I present a presentation thing to our director, Cole, and he chooses what locations we are going to be shooting at. Perfect. Once the locations have been, have been chosen, they are shown to the director who can approve them, or if he doesn't like them, they can look for new ones. You can use this to be smaller and smaller. Yeah. 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 Yeah
the first shoot was definitely quite interesting. At first, everyone was pretty excited to actually get this thing. Like, missing. Okay. Here? What? Yeah, maybe it's a moleskin. Oh. No. Right there. There you go. Quiet on set. Camera speeds. Cam Sound. Cam speeds. Sound speeds. Sound speeds. Marker. School spirit. Shot three, scene one, take one. Sound speeds. Sound speeds. Marker. School spirit. Shot six. Scene one. Take two. Oh, and then. What am I looking at? Like. Not nothing, because it's just gonna be on her. Oh, yeah. And then she's gonna walk in. Well, so Action. Is that Hendrix? The police are asking for you. Know? Are you ready? The second shot day was located at a house. It definitely felt like a. Bit weird feeling filming at someone's house. Uh, it allowed for amazing looking shots and it was a pretty fun experience overall. No, I think it's you're, just like the lighting in the chant, right? Wait, so yeah. what am I, is my, say whatever? Yeah. Is that why he was laying in an unnatural position? Alright, cut. The next shoot location was at the school locker room. Even though we were obviously allowed to film here, it still felt really weird filming there. The last major location was shot in the studio where we made the inside of the studio try to look like a psychic shop and I think it came very out like really good. The lighting was perfect. Wait, wait. Is there something she doesn't need to hero or are they just on the table? I think you just have them while you go on the okay. table. Alright, I got this mic. I think it'd be ready. cool though. To you get it ready? Like a... Another piece of gas. Um, where is it? Somewhere. I think it's on the table right there. Can, can I see? But make sure. Oh yeah, there's no sound, so you don't even have to clap. After this, we grabbed some final red to pick up shots, and now finally it was time to edit. Action. There you go. Oh, action. Cut. Alright, action. Hi, Christina. I'll go with you guys. Hi, Mom. Hi, Christina. Hi, Mom. 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 H